Goblins are short, ugly creatures who prefer the dark from whence they came. Their tough skin, sharp teeth, and bright eyes are adept to the underground labyrinths of caves and cities where they typically dwell. They are violent, malicious creatures by nature and hold long grudges, but they are very clever and their long fingers and clear eyes make them superb craftsmen. Today we're here with Matilda Blackburn, a noted magical historian. Ms. Blackburn, can you please tell us what ignited human interest in goblin culture? Yeah, so most accounts point to the idea that wizards became interested in allying themselves with goblins once they realized goblins' talent for metalsmithing and its potential uses in order to help wizards. Um, one folk, piece of folklore that illuminates this is the story of Gallifresh Gryffindor, who was an ancestor of Godric Gryffindor, and he is supposedly the first wizard to venture deep into the earth to a goblin city. There the magnificent stone buildings carved right out of the earth and the huge hordes of precious metals and gems which the goblins had become adapted to mining out were very tempting to Gallifresh and apparently, according to the legend, he was caught trying to steal some of the goblins' treasure. The goblins who found him were especially forgiving and they only took a few of his fingers instead of killing him on the spot as their laws demanded. They sent him back to the surface above ground where his stories were regarded as the ravings of a madman by most uh, wizards. That is, until proof of his stories arrived in the form of goblin-made armor above ground that could withstand wizard magic in duels between goblins and wizards in their early um, anger at each other. At this point, the wizards began to realize that goblins would prove more useful allies than enemies. Today, goblins are an integral part of the Wizard Society. They founded Gringotts Wizarding Bank and now control much of the wizarding economy, as well as participating in jewelry and weapons trades. However, throughout history, goblins have rebelled against wizards many times, for the two races have little in common. In the year 1063, a rebellion was sparked by the allegation by Ragnus I, a goblin, that Godric Gryffindor stole the goblin maid sword that stayed known as Sir Godric. Oh, 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 oh. Kedavra! This is a serious offense to Goblin, to whom stealing of the crime almost forced to leave. The revolt was bloody but quickly crushed by the wizard. During this rebellion, goblins began fashioning crude metal wands in order to fight magic with magic. The rebellion was sparked by the accidental death of Negu, the worker at the newly established Gringas Bank at the hands of an undertrained Ministry of Magic troll. The rebellion was fought in the depths of the Green Gods and many lives were lost. of magic followed this rebellion with the decree of 1631 which prohibited magical beings other than witches and wizards from owning wands. This sparked a larger rebellion as goblins and wizards allied themselves with other people. Today, rebellions are much less common due to the greater mutual understanding between wizards and goblins. The most recent goblin rebellion was over 40 years ago, and the Ministry of Magic works around goblin customs more carefully nowadays. A current goal is to get the goblins to officially sign the 1692 Statute of Secrecy and the Wand Ban of 1631.